Hey guys, welcome to Third Planet from the Black Hole. King Kong and Godzilla are about to have their epic rematch that has been 59 years in the making. King Kong won the last time, so it's time to see who will be victorious in this rematch. <laughs> Since the rematch of the century is coming out this week, I thought it would be a good time to look at Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game in the movie. It just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? While Kong's kaiju opponent Godzilla has had a pretty lackluster history when it comes to video games, with the exception of just a few gems, it's still better than King Kong's video game history, which is pretty much nothing. Nothing except for one special game that hit store shelves in 2005 to coincide with the release of its cinematic counterpart. If you haven't seen my review of the 2005 King Kong remake yet, I highly recommend it, along with all my other King Kong related videos. Now, at the time of this game's release, movie based titles were considered cheap cash grabs, with the exception of two games 1997's GoldenEye and 2004's Spider Man 2. Both of those games showed that movie based games could actually be fun and, hell, even innovative. Because of this, GoldenEye and Spider Man 2 are always held up as the best movie based games of all time. Why do I bring up all this James Bond and Spider-Man stuff in a King Kong video? Well, it's because I think King Kong deserves to be praised just as much as those two games. And it is nice to see that this game has been getting a lot of love on YouTube over the past couple of years. If anything, this game has made a resurgence from a forgotten classic to a fan favorite, which seems to be the fate for the few good kaiju games that we've got. Despite being a huge King Kong fan, I haven't played the full game until recently, until a friend gave me his copy. So what can I say about the game that everybody else hasn't already, especially since my compliments and complaints are pretty much the same as everyone else's? I really like the survival aspect of the game with the limited resources that force you to think and strategize. I like the trial and error aspects. The voice acting is great with the lack of cutscenes and HUD adding to the overall immersion. And the action sequences with King Kong are a ton of fun, even though sometimes that there can be kind of repetitive and not so great. The island itself looks great, and translates the Skull Island we see in the movie to the video game really well, complete with a functioning ecosystem that you can take advantage of. I guess a different perspective I can give on this game is that while it's really good and I highly recommend it, I can't help but see this as a really good game that had the potential to be great. You could definitely feel while playing this game that it was held back by a lack of development time and the fact that it had to be somewhat faithful to the movie it was based on. But at the same time, you can see the passion that went in from the development team and I think this is mainly because Peter Jackson was directly involved with this game. So much so that the game actually features some of the sequences that had to be cut from the movie. I think that this shows that Peter Jackson cared about every single part of his King Kong movie so much that he wanted to make sure that the video game adaption wasn't just some cheap cash grab. But it still makes me really want some studio to take on King Kong's story without any of these limitations. Imagine a retelling of this classic story with uncharted style gameplay for Jack that lets you free roam and explore Skull Island and all of its secrets and history. And then levels where you get to play as King Kong, where you get to roam around the island just like the Hulk in Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Plus, it would be filling a void in the kaiju game community. There are barely any kaiju games on the market outside of something like Monster Hunter, which doesn't even let you play as any of the kaiju. And on the rare occasions that we do get any kaiju games, they're not very good. And I think that is another reason why this game stands out so much. Despite many of Kong's missions being repetitive and not being as fun as the Jack levels, this is still one of the best kaiju games I think we've gotten. There is potential out there and this game fully showcases that. Yeah, it may have its limitations and its faults, but I still maintain that it is one of the best movie based games ever made. And I highly recommend you set aside a weekend to give it a playthrough.
So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe and help us get to 100 subscribers. Check out our new website. The link is in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.